Hey guys, so uh, today we're gonna redo the capsicum. Uh, I'm gonna start from scratch and basically we're gonna, you know, try and draw this together. Okay. So, just before we start, let's just look at this capsicum one more time. This shadow shape. This whole place is the cast shadow, the object casting a shadow. Remember the sphere. This is your form shadow, right? This is where the terminator is happening, terminator of the core shadow, which is the darkest. Reflected light, we're not seeing a lot here. There's slight, but it's almost not there. But we can look at reflected light here, right? There's a lot of reflected light coming here. And then the top plane is where all of the light is being concentrated. And if we squint, we should be able to see some light areas. This, this plane as a whole. And then these are, we're gonna kind of group and then we're gonna separate, okay? Uh, yeah, so let's start. We're going to look at it like we, I suggested before as like a box or a sphere, right? Um, with this one plane being away from the light, this one plane having some light, and then the top plane, all right? So let's draw out our capsicum. So first, let's take a little bit of medium, a little bit of your black, not too much. I don't want it to be like too wet, right? Then we're going to kind of just draw out this capsicum. can take some measurements height and width measurements right so what we're gonna see here is the width of this compares to almost the height of this so the height at, at its max is a little more than the width okay Let's place that marker down. So suppose I say this is where the height is of of this capsule. Okay, so I'm missing some shadow here. I'll put that. Um, you know what? I'm gonna just push this a little bit this way I'm not gonna get the whole shadow I just realized but I'll show you the shadow in another capsicum on the left side um, okay so let's go back to height is total height is gonna be just less than I mean bigger than the width so the width is gonna be slightly less than the mid median height Let's check this. Yeah. So the height's gonna be here. I changed it. This isn't it. This one is. It goes like this. Then try and figure out 
certain other parts like this is where a shape starts and then I'll put in my There's going to be some edits. Since my drawing, I'm not making it that important here. So I will edit the drawing as I go forward. Okay, so that's your capsicum. And then putting in the shadow. Looking at the overall angles. So, putting your hand here and figuring out the angle, and then kind of taking it here and figuring that angle out. This is where it gets super dark. We're gonna handle this guy in a bit. The shadow. Lost some of my shadow. Alright, so this is kind of our drawing. Take a big brush. And do our shadow shapes. This is you just placing in shadows, so keep it thin. So that I'm just trying to see my shadow shapes and seeing if they work. There's like this bird like structure here. Tiny bits of medium, not too much. I'm wiping every time. Just figuring out these shapes. Just figuring out these shapes as I go, okay? Squint. I'm gonna remove 
this guy. Okay, some lights here. So this is my mistake in my drawing. See, because I don't have a lot of medium or a lot of paint, it's really hard for me to make these adjustments now. So we have something right now working. Now is the next step is to add our transition tones. So before we do that, I'm gonna just make my grades gradations here. So this being my five, let's make our four here. That can be a good four. Wipe your palette knife every time you're making these. Then we can make our value three. Value two. a nice gradation as you can see so now is the fun part we try and put in these values and at the same time fix some of our shapes so I'm gonna start with adding some shapes right where the transitions happen I'm squinting as I'm doing this Remember, it's okay if you're not getting the drawing right in the first go, but keep drawing as you're painting. I'm just squinting to see these shapes. Come in a little bit more. So I'm going to put in this transition tone over here.
then I'm gonna add this as one block block tone. I'm not putting a lot of paint yet. Still light. Because I want to see this capsicum take shape before uh, building up paint. Just creating something that's going to be easy to see. Then we go in and fix things a little bit more. Okay, so let me get in some of my dark shapes here. go darker in the shadows look at alignments a little bit so what I saw is this measurement top to here comes up to right this measurement that's a that's a measurement another measurement can be we can look at where this points suppose where this ends I can go suppose where um, let me look at this image for you guys so something we can also do is where does this end this shadow find an angle that works so there so the shadow will come up yeah so trying to find angles so another one can be, how does this look? That's fine, but I think this one needs to come in. So these angles will help us to fine tune our drawing a little bit more. So we did this.
opening this part. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. This is gonna, this is our block-in phase. We'll do the next one. Identify more of these shapes and put in some of our lightest values. <laughs> 